Boom, boom, boom. Hey everybody, it's Chris and Tony back for another Tiger Sox series of the Blue Collar Beer Corps Maze Beer Reviews. Hugs and kisses to all of you. The this silly is, uh, one and the serious one. We're still doing uh, Nevada Craft Beer Week. Uh, however, this is not a Nevada Craft Beer, so uh, yeah, I, I just uh, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, this is uh, from the from uh, Sierra, Nevada. Sierra Nevada's Beer Camp Across America collaboration. And since Tony's the one who actually found and bought this, I'm going to let him tell you a little about... Uh, Stage right. Yep. Pressure's on. All right, here we go. Okay. Um, Sierra Nevada. Of course, you all out there know Sierra Nevada. I hope. I hope. If you don't, get acquainted with well, one of the best breweries in the world. Um, out every, of Chico, California. Out of Chico, California, yes. Out, every year for the last... Actually, it's kind of a new thing. I think they've only been doing it two or three years now. Yeah, I don't think it's more. It, it, at um, most four. Yeah. I would even say as most three. Mm -hmm. But but either way, it's kind of a new concept to theirs, which to me is one of their trailblazing things. That, you know, Sierra Nevada has always been trailblazers, always, if nothing yeah, else. It's true. And they're doing it again with this series. Um, it's called Beer, Cramp, Beer Camp Across America. And what they do, um, yeah, there's the bottle. One of the uh, six bottles, actually, in the 12-pack. Um, every year about this time, May, well, it came out a couple weeks ago, so early May, mid-May, um, this variety pack comes out, and you basically get a brand new six beers thrown at you every single year. Um, the styles themselves don't, you know, venture off too far. You get stouts, you get brown ales, um, you get um, rice, um, then there was a session IPA. I've already had all of them. <laughs> I'm going round two because the 12 pack actually contains six styles, two bottles of each. Um, this is the table beer, which until the last bottle I had was the very first time I've ever had a table beer to the point where I actually had to get on and Google and I'm like, what in the world is a table beer? It's just not a phrase you see or hear even at large beer festivals. Mm -hmm. You just don't. Um, bars never have any table beer. I mean, it's just not in this country anyway. But the Beer Camp Across America is a really cool program. They, they, uh, they get together with all sorts of smaller uh, breweries all around the country, every corner of the country, really, and uh, collaborate. This particular um, beer is called the Sweet Sunny South Table Beer. It is ale brewed with, I'm sorry, ale with brewed, ale with brewed and added natural flavors. Um, on the back, it tells you that it's uh, traditional flavors such as tea, honey sweet peaches, and corn grits. Yeah, so it's very southern in its... Uh, with a gold grain, yeah, with a uh, malt body and complex tangy finish from the fruit, tea, and herbs. And that's a, it's a good summer drinker or late spring like we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Their collaborators on this beer with Sierra Nevada were Austin Beer Works, Bayou Tech, Creature Comforts, Funky Buddha, and Wicked Weed. A lot of people got together to make this beer, yeah. so... And it's, it's not the, often you see that many uh, no, I mean, collaborations. I usually see three. I mean, mm -hmm. almost, I think I, everyone would agree that you see a beer collaboration, it's the main the main boy, the big boy, mm -hmm. and then you got two that are kind of up and coming, lesser known, typically. Um, about a year and a half ago, when I was uh, living up in Puget Sound, I actually tried a uh, uh, beer camp um, that was a collaboration between Sierra Nevada and uh, Maine Brewing Company. And it was called Somebody's Camp, I want to say, or, or uh, I, I can't, off the top of it's my head, I year. can't remember. <laughs> I it, remember. It's been over a year, yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, yes, I was, uh, that's, that. I, so I actually have had beer camp uh, collaborations before, but that was just Sierra Nevada and one other brewery. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, you've got a lot. And like Tony said, um, three is pretty much the standard. Uh, yeah. If you ever get a chance, if you're up in the sound and you uh, have a chance to try what's called Everybody's Naked in the Backwoods, it's a really good collaboration between everybody's brewing, uh, Naked Brewing, and uh, Backwoods Brewing, uh, all, all Washington State uh, breweries, and it's it's a really good beer. Um, uh, Tony's had this before. Now, there's, there's as Tony said, there's there's not a whole <laughs> lot about table wines, even if you like table try beer. or table beer, excuse me, <laughs> table beers. There's actually a lot about table wines, but not table beers. Right. And uh, about a what, about a month ago, uh, I went to a tasting. Uh, for uh, Jameson, uh, which and the Jameson Distillery actually puts out Powers uh, whiskey as well. And I was told by the young lady who was conducting the um, tasting, who was from uh, Ireland herself, that Powers is sort of the table whiskey, meaning it's just the whiskey that you keep a bottle of sitting around the house. <laughs> you know, you need a shot of whiskey, or you just need something to flavor you up something. You that. throw a little just... bottle of, of whiskey into something. Italians are, and uh, the French are known for their uh, table wines. 
where it's just a, a not a particularly good wine, but a wine that gets you through the right. day sort well, of wine. Hell, and, even Olive Garden uh, doesn't. I mean, you go to Olive Garden, there's, Olive Garden, there's a table wine. And a, a macaroni cheap. grill. And macaroni yeah. grill is a perfect example of that. The, the bottle of Chianti that's sitting on the, right. or the jug of Chianti that's sitting on your table and you yep. make the little hash marks. So um, that's the beer equivalent. That's, that's pretty much the equivalent. And I love the fact that they have uh, used um, ingredients that are typical of the American South. I think if uh, here in America, if you're going to make a, a table beer, um, you probably should use uh, down home ingredients like corn grits and peaches and, and honey lands, and right. tea. And, it lands itself um, to the South just because, you know, Southern hospitality, the expression itself. Precisely, exactly. You feel yeah. like you're going to have a table beer. If it's any region of the country, the South it's is going to have the I mean, hospitality. Yeah, if, if there's so. ever been a part of the country where, you know, pretty much the minute you walk through the front door of somebody's house, they're offering you something to drink, it's the South. <laughs> uh, Mississippi in particular. Mississippians, you ever down there in the Delta? You will not walk out of their house without picking at least a quart of sweet tea. Uh, it just it can't happen. You know I mean, you, there's somebody with a shotgun standing in front of the door going, uh, you only had a half quart, sorry, so get back there. So. Get back there, boy. So, uh, so um, since this is not, uh, since there's, I went on Beer Advocate and tried to find um, what exactly should be used in terms of glassware, uh, there was nothing, uh, even if you put in American table wine or table beer, I'm so used to table wine being the phrase, right. table beer being table the case, um, it's just not there. <laughs> right. But I figured considering that it is considered uh, sort of a, a standard and farm ales are considered sort of a standard, uh, farm hands were oftentimes paid in farm ales. Uh, we're using Taza Designs shatterproof wine glasses. And Tony just used the pop the top opener from Taza Designs, and uh, have we got a? Just wanted to get that out. We got a, a, a big cap. Tony's going to show you. Perfectly Once again, preserved. pop the top opener from Taza Designs. That's a good angle to show it actually, so you don't see the bend. That's any, true. Yeah, you don't see any you know, creases or anything like that. Side on on a shot like that kind of gives you an idea how preserved this cap is. So for if you were a cap keeper, and you, in keeper. particular, if you keep them for your wall mounts, or if you just want to recap the bottle, uh, that's. Pop the top is definitely the way to go. This has farmhouse. Smell that. It has farmhouse just all over. Oh yeah. I mean. Oh yeah. I'm glad. This is yeah. This this should be treated the same way. I would say treat even before I've tasted this. I'm saying treat this like a farm ale. This is. I mean, the bouquet on this just like flies up your nose. It's crazy. Um, very a floral, lot of wheat very and floral. And floral. Yeah. Exactly. And look how clear this pour. This beer pours like peach juice. Look at that. And it's a very low ABV. Um, very low, four, four something. Four something, so yeah. But, oh my goodness, this beer is clear, almost eerily clear, really. <laughs> uh, I'd say that's about a medium carbonation. It's not low, it's not high. Uh, there's plenty of bubbles going through there, though. Dude, I totally gave you more. You really did, here. God. Now let's see you pour it from the glass to glass. Okay. Hey, I'm all about 50-50 on this crap, man. So, yeah, I, I agree completely. <laughs> this I, reminds me of um, when I was a kid, when I would have high C, and I would have the peach, the peach yeah, high C. Yeah, the peach high C. That's exactly what that's this right. Really yeah, this really reminds me color-wise. Color of course, the carbonation is a different story. Um, oh, and you get a little, you get, cool, you get a little color. air in there. You certainly get some peach. Uh, yeah, it kicks up big time. Wow, you really get the peach aroma off Grassy, of that. Grassy, peachy. Many, one, two, three, four, five, so six breweries involved in this. I'm just hoping that it wasn't, this isn't going to be a case of too many cooks spoiling the broth. Uh, I really, <laughs> too really am. Yeah. cooks. <laughs> too many, many cooks. cooks. The butterfly is showing. Okay. Right. of our peachy goodness. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Mm, tangy. Quick tanginess. Mm -hmm. Just boom, tang. Uh, very low mal. Well, I'd say low medium. I'd go um, I would say low. Yeah, low medium. Mouthfeel. Now you do feel a little bit of, uh, actually, if there's any spikiness, it's in the aftertaste more than the uh, original taste. Um, I'm thinking, you know, because table, when you think table wines and table whiskeys, uh, you're not thinking of something that's exceptional, uh, something that's it's something that could just mild. get you through the day. Right. And easy. this, uh, I think, could get you through the day because it's not, it's not too sweet. It's a little bit sweet if you like say. We've all got a sweet tooth. Every once and again, somebody, right. everybody wants a little something sweet. Right. It's, um, it's not juicy though. It's not like a juice, like a juice kick, you know, with like a hint of beer. It's a standalone yeah. beer, but very refreshing. Like if you're out in the yard working in a, on a warm, hot summer day, 
this would really hit the spot. Yeah. It's actually very thirst quenching, mm -hmm. very refreshing. And if this was what you just kept around the house, mm -hmm. especially during the summer, mm -hmm. uh, I would say this would be a summer table oh, beer absolutely. more than a. Um, absolutely. Of course, warm weather in Vegas lasts from May to October, so yeah, this beer would last most of the year. Actually. Well, not true enough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really um, light, almost feathery, kind of. Uh, silky in a way almost like the carbonation lends itself to like a little bit of a, mm -hmm. just a mild little watery silky uh and the like foam the is very very white and it's Extremely also uh, it's like leech rather white. persistent i mean once the, yeah. uh, uh every beer that we've had like the last couple of beers we've had very uh strong heads mm -hmm. uh, heads, for it. And, and, heads uh, stick around a little bit yeah especially this i mean a beer this this pale and this light surprisingly the head's still sticking around usually mm -hmm. it won't last this long but uh awesome Actually, very crisp, very refreshing, very crisp. Definitely getting the tea. Now that I've had a little bit, you know, a few sips, kind of going in, building now. I think so the too. The tea and the herbs and, from and the a label. And for it to breathe. Um, yep. I, I've really, firmly, the more and more I'm, I'm trying these, the more I, I believe that maybe your beer does need to breathe for a bit, um, just like wine does. Breathe. You know? so, breathe. Oh, we do karaoke too. <laughs> This is, third, here at Tiger this is our yeah, third. This is This is our third review today, so the barley wine uh, is, is talking. <laughs> the barley wine is talking. But that's why we finished with this beer, actually, because uh, the strategy was to film three today because you know we wanted to put up one uh, today, Sunday, for Memorial yeah. Day, another one for tomorrow, and then one for next Sunday. Are you catching but, now the corn? Uh, grits, no, actually, I'm not. That's the one thing off the label. Uh -huh. I'm definitely the honey, I'm the peaches. I'm not getting the taste, but I am getting. Um, I'm afraid of not. I'm missing out on the corn, but that's probably a corn grits. I'm sorry, but that's a good thing because to me, I'm not a fan. Well, I, I grew up in the buckle of the Bible Belt. Grits <laughs> were part of, you know. <laughs> and chicken you put, fried steak and, and grits and a red eye red eye gravy with. Uh, yeah. Black coffee was at every breakfast. And you so. put grits in front of me and gag. I gag. <laughs> I actually physically gag to the point where people are like, are you going to be all right? <laughs> yeah. All right. And Remove him from the table. And that's the case with hominy or corn oh, or anything God, else, grits, huh? Okay. Cold chills. All right. So Just from I know uh, if, we ever do a, if we ever do a tour of my hometown, my home state of Missouri, yeah, keep then me away from grits, I'm going to keep please. you away from grits. Gotcha. And gizzards and all that other stuff. Okay, southern, so no uh, organ meat. All right. Take me, give me some jambalaya, give me some uh, Creole. I'll take that. But uh, That would be actually great. Let, let's let, let's plan on doing a, uh, a Louisiana uh, tour. Uh, Ronald Thoreau, we're going to try and uh, make it down and, and see if you can't uh, abide by that. Uh, we, uh, I, I've always seen uh, Louisiana beer reviews. If you notice, more often than not, he's wearing um, Kansas City Royals gear. So maybe he's uh, socks are still tearing really, it up. Socks are still tearing it up. Yep. Uh, Tigers. Tigers are coming back. A little coming bit. back. I mean, yeah, they, 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 they had a really good run there. They had a couple weeks there that that made up for the previous review we did. That was that's been a, a train wreck. They lost 12 of 14 at that point. Now they've won. I want to say nine of nine of their last 11. Nine of their last 12. So yeah, they're, they've turned it on a little bit. Good beer, though, for summer. I mean, like I said, if you're working in the yard, um, it ain't going to be too heavy to, you know, slow you down or, you know, mess you up the rest of the day. Um, I'm definitely getting the tea and the peach more than I am anything else. And uh, I think this is one of those, um, unfortunately, because Beer Camp is a limited um, release, you're not going to get too many of it. That's but true. That's I do true. like the, uh, I, I like the beers where... Uh, I can say to somebody, um, and, and I, I, I don't even know if there's a, a name for it, but I, I, you'll see in some of the reviews I've done where I, I've said, if you've got a friend you're trying to bring to the fold of craft beer, yes. this is definitely oh. a good beer to bring them. So it's not. Uh, <laughs> you'll wean them, wean them on this kind of stuff. Because yeah. this is not weird. This is not. This doesn't right. taste. Uh, it's not exceptionally bitter like an, uh, like a, an IPA or overly uh, complex like a right. barley wine or any of those things. This is. If you come across Beer Camp, uh, check this out. Mm -hmm. And uh, along with the other beers in the 12 pack, they're fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, really, really good stuff. Our time is almost up, everybody. And I would say this, yeah, this really does. I mean, so long, this is the, 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 uh, the, the, the one and only uh, table beer I've had. So Me too. That's what um, makes it like, a cool experience. But I do think, based upon everything I've read, this this really does fit the form. This is something you could easily drink every day. For sure. You know, and, and uh, just. So yeah, Enjoy all right. So beer. I see we're getting good. Uh, I see we're closing. We have five seconds time. left. 
All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Enjoy. <laughs> Three, two, one.